Hey guys, we are continuing our segment on bracing and what it means to lift with our legs. So you might be wondering why I'm wearing a belt around my torso. So I'm wearing a belt around my torso because I want you to use this as a tool to understand how to inflate the canister or, or just like in the article wrote, it's like our soda can. We're filling that soda can full of pressure and helping our low back when we're lifting stuff off the ground. So use a belt. Go really, really uh, loose around the, the tummy area, something that you can easily slide over uh, your tummy or your belly button specifically. And your belly button is going to be an aiming point. So you're going to go right above the belly button, and if you were to let it go, it would drop below the belly button without you just with, with being completely relaxed. What we're going to do is we're going to lift it above the belly button. Now we're going to push out. We're going to act like we're trying to inflate and make our tummy wide as opposed to sucking in. A lot of people have, uh, in the past, have told me they've been told to suck in and make their tummy tight and then lift. No one would, no one would build a house on a small foundation, so why would you lift from a narrow foundation? So we're going to widen through the tummy keep that wide, and now we're gonna practice everyday movements that we would uh, use to lift stuff off the ground. So something that we would squat down and pick something up. So say this chair right here. If I want to have good back health or not risk uh, my back doing all of the work, I'm going to brace, use that brace, use my tummy, take some tension off my back. Now I'm going to lower myself, maintaining those postures, maintaining that pressure, and now I can lift using my tummy and my legs in the addition to help my low back. Yes, my low back is going to be doing some of the work. It's going to be having to fight to get up, but you're going to distribute the weight. It's really important that our low back doesn't do everything. Also, I have a kettlebell all the way down here on the ground. Same type of movement. Press out a little bit and then move predominantly through the hips. Everyone's so scared about moving forward. As long as this stuff is braced and... Um, it's not going through a bunch of flexion posture while moving forward. It's a safe movement. Here, coming forward, picking up, maybe this is a bag of groceries, maybe this is dog food. We're here, and now we're driving through the hips and holding something as heavy as 52 pounds and using the, using the back and the core to get this work done. So try that, use a belt, use something that you can kind of self-check yourself. If it goes down, that means we've lost that canister, we've lost that protection of the low back. Try it out.